Did you know that over 80% of ordinary people are in court without a lawyer? Or that corporate executives say that law is the biggest source of complexity that they face? Or that four billion people live and work around the world outside of the rule of law? Almost two decades into the new century, the capacity of law to deliver solutions is being crushed by complexity and cost, and the struggle to keep up with and make use of new technologies. The goal of this course is to educate a new generation of legal innovators, people who will build novel ways to design and deliver what we need from law for the 21st century. In Legal Design Lab, we train you to develop creative solutions to problems in settings ranging from access to justice, to commercial complexity, to the poor and developing world. This class operates as a workshop in which we learn and practice the art of rethinking law through iteration, cooperative brainstorming, and rapid prototyping. The final project for the course will be to develop a prototype and pitch for one idea about how to do law better. We'll be drawing on ideas from design thinking, lean startups, software development, and human-centered design, as well as research on the shortcomings of existing legal systems and examples of legal innovation from around the globe. And we're going to cultivate the impulse to ask questions like, why isn't there a way to, or what if it were possible to, or how come no one has ever... We're going to question the taken for granted, the idea that law has to be produced by public actors exclusively, or that legal work has to be done exclusively by JDs. To think about how law, legal work, and legal education might be done very differently. Because your generation of lawyers needs to be the source of fresh ideas about the design and delivery of law, the emphasis is going to be on out-of-the-box thinking and critical analysis of what we need law to do to support a fair and efficient legal system, economic prosperity, and the expansion of market democracy around the world. Could people get legal advice from an algorithm on their phones or use virtual reality to make better choices about contracts and online privacy? Could companies be regulated by other companies using big data? Could the poor in developing countries reduce corruption with a global platform based on blockchain? We'll be asking those questions and more in Legal Design Lab.